attention. And I mean attention. This video includes sensitive issues that might just hurt your feelings. <laughs> if you have a history of being triggered or if you're easily offended by reality, I suggest you press pause. Shut your cell phone off. I am uh, in a cemetery right now, as you can see, and I'm taking a break from my regular job to go to my second job, which is this channel. So I seen this video about, uh, I want to say about a week ago or so, but I kind of forgot about it. And then I just reminded myself, I said, oh, I, uh, that uh, nomadic weirdo, Bob Smells, uh, he has a girlfriend and she's fucking like no pussy and uh, blew out all the business on their relationship and why they broke up. Big deal, Bob. Bob is a big deal. He's a movie star now, in case you guys didn't know. So anyways, so I went to her channel and first of all, let me say this really quickly. Uh, she, I could tell, used to be a hot piece of ass back in 1879, this broad. Yeah, when she was helping load cannonballs for the Confederacy, when they were firing them at the Union soldiers at the Battle of uh, Baton Rouge, I'm sure she was quite, quite popular with the cavalry. Fucking right no pussy! Anyways, so she starts going on and on about why they broke up, broke up, blah, 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 blah. And she's droning and droning on and on. And then she mentioned something about her being in a shelter. And my first thought was, why the hell would you want to date a woman in a shelter? Now, listen, I understand. I understand shit happens. I understand shit happens. Life happens. Sometimes you got to do what you got to do. She said that she was with an abusive husband and she had to go to a shelter. Now, that's fine. But why would you, no matter Kool-Aid drinking weirdo, why would you date a woman in a shelter? Why would you date a woman that's still married? Now, I know I'm a hypocrite because I've slept with several married women and I would gladly do it again. If you're married, give me a call. 972-765-8972 and I'll gladly give you some dick. Moving along. It just seems to me that uh, Bob isn't uh, the uh, cult leader that I thought he was. You would think that he would be getting all kinds of poontang, all kinds of poontang on YouTube, but I guess the uh, slim pickings. You know, listen, Bobo, let me explain something to you. You probably could do better than that uh, nomadic weirdo chick living in her van with her scraggly ass dog. But what you gotta do, man, you gotta shave that nasty, disgusting thing off your face you call a beard. You're not Moses and you're not leading the Jews across the desert for 40 days or 40 years or whatever the damn story was. Okay? Let me tell you something, Bob. Let me tell you something, Bobo. You're gonna regret not colliding with me. You're gonna regret it. Okay? Because you think you're a big deal? You think you're a big star on YouTube? Well, you got another thing coming, kid, because when you reject me, and this goes for all you women out there, when you reject me, you reject the team. And the team doesn't like rejection. I guess you can consider this karma, Babo. I guess you can consider this karma. But, just to let you know, you dodged a bullet with that one because that lady looks like an absolute train wreck and a disaster waiting to happen. Guys, if you want to date a woman who is a, looks like to me, a walking nightmare, definitely go hit her up. She looks like a fun time during the wild, wild west back in the 1840s. All right, guys, I got to go. Peace. Fucking right, no pussy.